Turkey's Industry and Technology Minister Mustafa Varank announced June 20th that the TS-1400 engine will be delivered in 2020 for integration into the T-625 Gokbe utility helicopter. Mustafa Varnak also said that the core of the T-625 helicopter's engine was tested at Turkish Aerospace Industries in the recent past. The TS-1400 engine will power the T-625 Gokbe utility helicopter as well as the T-129 ATAK combat helicopter. In September 2018, T-625 rotorcraft powered by two CTS-800 4A turboshaft engines made its maiden flight at Ankara. A modified TS-1400 engine will power the T-129 ATAK helicopter. The T-129 ATAK gunship built by Turkish Aerospace Industries under license from the Italian-British company Augusta Westland also uses the CTS-800 4A engine. The CTS-800 produced by LHTAC is a joint venture between Rolls-Royce and Honeywell. Coming to the TS-1400 engine, the TUSAS engine industries of Turkey has been developing a next generation indigenous power plant for the T625 named as the TS-1400. The TS-1400 engine is expected to have similar dimensions and weight as with the LHTEC CTS-800 4A 480 turboshaft engines which have a reputation for compactness, lightweight, reliability, power and durability. In 2015, Turkey had finalized negotiations with Turkmenistan for the sale of two T129 MK1 ATAK helicopters. However, since the United States government did not provide the export license for the LHTAC, CTS-800 4A engines, this project was not realized. Pakistan ordered 30 T129s for 1.5 billion in 2018. Deliveries were being hit due to non-availability of LHTEC engines. A senior Turkish procurement official had told Defense News in 2018, Apparently, we shall need US export licenses to go ahead with the T129 deal with Pakistan. This is not a technological or financial matter, but a purely political one. In December 2019, Filipino Defense Secretary Lorenzana announced that his air force was mulling purchase of the T-129 attack helicopter. Their budget for attack helicopters estimated at $250 million could afford 8 to 10 units of the helicopter. Turkey has commenced negotiations with the French Safran Group as an alternative should the T-1400 engine be delayed any further. The engine in question is the Ardiden 1H1 stroke Shakti which powers the twin engine ALH Dhruv and LCH light combat helicopters from India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. <laughs>